Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barfin. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I specialize in oncology and lymphedema rehab. In this video, I'll show you how to apply taping for breast swelling. Taping is pretty effective adjunct tool, especially for patients who have mild swelling. However, it should never replace the gold standard treatment for lymphedema, which is complete decongestive therapy. So if you're someone who has especially moderate to severe swelling or lymphedema, I would highly recommend reaching out to a certified lymphedema therapist so you can get the treatment that is appropriate for you. For this video, we're going to need a pair of scissors and a roll of tape. Either rock tape or kinesio tape can be used. Um, both are great options. We're going to go ahead and measure the length that we'll need. We're going to cut two pieces. One is going to bring the fluid from the affected breast to the healthy lymph nodes across the chest and the opposite armpit. And the other one will bring the fluid from the affected breast into the healthy lymph nodes down in the groin on the same side. In order to measure the chest piece, we are going to start at the unaffected side, place the tape right in front of the armpit where usually the bra straps are, and we're going to bring it right across. Wherever your swelling ends, that's where we're going to cut our first tape. When we apply the tape, we're going to be applying gentle stretch so your tape is going to end up going past your swelling, which is what we want. But in order to measure our length, we do want to cut where the swelling ends. And in order to measure the other piece, we're going to start right above the hip bone and bring the piece up. The same thing with this piece, we're going to end where our swelling ends and we're going to cut our tape right there. So now we have two pieces of tapes, um, one for the chest which is a little shorter and then one for the side of the trunk. We're going to stack, stack them together and we're going to round the edges so that way the tape can stay longer. We're going to take the shorter piece, which is going to go across the chest, and we're going to cut five equal strips, or fingers is what we call them sometimes. But we're going to leave about one inch uncut at the end. And we're going to cut our second strip. And then we're going to round the edges of each strip as well. And we're going to do the same thing with the longer piece. And we're going to round the strips as well. So we should have two pieces of tape with five even strips and all the edges should be rounded. We're going to take the shorter one which is going to go across the chest. And we're going to tear the back of the tape where the strips start. And we're going to peel it off.
and we're gonna anchor it directly to our skin on the unaffected side right in front of the armpit and we're gonna rub it in so it can stick to her and we're gonna bring the strips across the chest the goal is to cover as much area as we can I usually start with the top one because it's easier for me but you can start with the lower one as well we're gonna go ahead and peel the tape and give it a little bit of a stretch just slight stretch and we're gonna go ahead and lay it over the skin covering the swollen area when we come to the end we're gonna let go of the tension peel the last piece of the tape and then just lay the end over without any tension and we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones we're gonna apply slight tension on the tape and then lay it over let go of the tension at the end and then just lay the tape down and then we're gonna take our longer one which is gonna go from groin to the breast again we're gonna tear the back of the tape and peel it off we're gonna find our hip bone and anchor the tape right above it rub it in so it can stick better again we're gonna take one strip Peel it off, give it a slight tension, and bring it up towards your breast, covering the swollen area. At, at the end, without applying any tension, we're just going to lay down the tape. We're going to repeat it with the other ones. And then you can rub it in again so it can stay longer the tape usually stays on up to three to five days so you can take it off when it wears off and you can definitely take a shower with it just tap dry it with a towel instead of rubbing it so it can stay longer but that's how we apply taping for breast swelling i hope you found it helpful if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much again for watching and see you in a different video.